but it is the Airbnb slow season that separates the professionals from the amateurs. For this video, I might need to change that to Airbnb bust looks a lot different for the best hosts in your market. Lots of influencers right now are saying, Airbnb is dying, it's dead. I lost money on Airbnb, I'm quitting Airbnb. Airbnb is over. The thing is, at any given time, I can highlight good hosts or I can highlight bad hosts. These hosts are always on the platform. I'm gonna tell you what's going on, why and how to fix it. Not all of you will be able to fix it, that would mean it's time maybe to sell. I'm gonna cover that topic at the end. If you're new to this channel, this was a book I wrote back in 2018, five years after I started actually working at Airbnb in San Francisco. Nowadays, I live in Airbnbs, more than 2,500 nights, and I have a few other credentials. I am, in summary, the best in the world at Airbnb for hosts with up to 10 properties. Now let's highlight some of these videos, and let's start with Shelby Church probably the most famous influencer, two million subscribers on YouTube. She was very public about buying a property, I think in Palm Springs, to put on Airbnb. I think she found a famous YouTuber and she wasn't happy with his tips or what she saw. He is still often promoting doing Airbnb, probably I think because he has a course that he sells for like $500 on how to do Airbnb. So there is some incentive there to promote Airbnb, to get people to wanna do it. But his calendars look pretty empty and he's even talked about that in some more recent videos. I went through a bunch of his listings and there is like almost no booking at all for many of these properties. And almost all of them are priced under $100 a night. I don't know how he could possibly not be losing money. Now this other famous YouTuber reached out to her to give her advice about her Airbnb, which was struggling at the time. So I reached out to Shelby on Instagram and said, hey, let's talk. I wanna look at your listing and give you some feedback. That advice clearly didn't work because Shelby recently posted a video saying she's quitting. You saw the title, right? I'm quitting Airbnb. No, it's not clickbait. It just doesn't make sense anymore. Now, the reason she's quitting has something to do with an additional 10% tax put on her market. Now, look, I'm no fan of taxes. I get it. The government is great at adding taxes, dozens of taxes that you pay dozens of times a day. I get it. But if a 10% extra expense is going to make you unprofitable, you made a bad investment. That's a key theme of this video. Keep it in mind. Next. Airbnb stopped me from having a $2,000 booking on my property on Halloween weekend. And it wasn't just a $2,000 booking, it was $2,000 that we needed so that we had a profitable Airbnb that month. If you had a full calendar and one reservation at the end of the month was gonna make you from unprofitable to profitable, you made a bad investment. I'm starting to have a, a come to Jesus moment, if you will, with my own portfolio that over the past few years, still performing well, but not nearly as well as I was in 2020 and 2021 because of COVID. Now, I don't mean to pick on Rob. He's a great guy. I've had interactions with him. I like him. But I also made an investment in 2021. And in 2023, I made record revenue and profits. The most important part of your STR career will be identifying the most profitable home in the best micro neighborhood in the best market. That process and the concept of micro neighborhood is what I cover in my new book published last year. I did that book because this theme is so, so important. You're going to make your money based on when you make that investment. Something I didn't talk at all about in my first book. Books cost money, I get it. That's why I have a video that is going to tell you what process you need to have in mind when you're making an investment to ensure you're making a profitable investment from the beginning to avoid all of this Airbnb bust nonsense. A lot of people bought at the top. My most popular video, you can see it getting a ton of views starting in 2021 and ending in 2022. There was a lot of hype in this area. There was a lot of hype at this time. There are winners in every market at all times. You've heard of the Great Depression, I'm sure. Did you know that there was millionaires created during the Great Depression? Charles Darrow lost his job in 1929. He then spent his time creating a at-home game 
that maybe would be very much in demand in the Great Depression as an alternative for family fun as opposed to more expensive activities like going to the movie theaters or going to a theme park. That game started selling millions. It was called Monopoly or Michael J. Colon, who created our modern grocery store. During the Great Depression, you can imagine people went out less, they looked for cheaper alternatives, grocery stores were that, he capitalized on that, and he was making the equivalent of $75 million in today's money. If it's not clear why I'm highlighting these two individuals, it's that right now in your market, somebody, a lot of people probably, hosts are very profitable. This is true for every market. There's a ton of hosts making a killing now, last year, the year before, the year before that. I'm one of those hosts and I hope that I can help you. I'm gonna break down the problem into two categories, okay? The first category is within our control. Making a good investment is paramount, okay? I'm gonna reference that video again. Please go and watch it after this video. Whether or not you're buying a new property, that video will help you know if you made a bad investment on your current property and whether maybe it's time to let go and start over in a new market. The investment I referred to at the beginning of this video in 2021, I call it the Belmonte Penthouse, that's my brand name, and I document that process. How did I decide on that market and that micro neighborhood in this book in part two? And I am making four times the amount of revenue as the prior owner. Yes, it was already an Airbnb. Now, after we get that investment, we made a good investment. There is a three-step troubleshooting protocol that I have developed that takes care of all problems on Airbnb. Airbnb. Okay, the first one is the easiest to address. It's your online listing. Is your online listing optimized? Probably not. What does that mean? That means that if an FPG is looking at your listing and looking at all of your competition of, of sometimes there's hundreds, do they know right away this is the best value for money? Not necessarily the cheapest, best value for money. Is it easy for the FPG to pick you? Are you clearly expressing how much you're giving the FPG in exchange for the money that they're giving you? Number two is hospitality, which is represented in the reviews. If you are a 4.95 or above, nothing to do. Now the thing is, and it's a myth, if you have a 4.7 and 4.8, a lot of hosts think this is good. It's out of five, 4.7 is good. It's not, it's bad. 4.7 and 4.8, there is a lot of room for improvement. And a lot of hosts don't know this. In fact, I'm in Tulum right now, and I reached out to a property manager who sent me a listing rated 4.29. Now, that is a terrible listing. And I said, why are you even sending me this listing? And the property manager explained to me, oh no, it, Airbnb is out of five, so 4.29 is good. What? <laughs> Our goal is 4.95, and I have a bunch of strategies and videos on this channel on how you can achieve that. It's not that difficult. Now, the last thing is pricing. We don't want to lower pricing, but if you have an optimized listing, if you have great reviews, and you're still not getting booked, there's one option and only one option left, and that is your pricing is too high. This gets into the territory of, well, maybe you're already at your minimum. Then you may have made a bad investment, and I want you to go watch that foolproof investing video I mentioned below. The link is in the description. After you watch that foolproof investing video, I then want you to go to my homepage on my channel and start with the Start Here playlist. It's going to accelerate your learning in the STR industry and teach you things that no other person is teaching on the web, and it's gonna make you the best host that you can be, which is a very good host. There are some things not in our control. I'll briefly go over this. Government regulations, really not in our control. Events negatively affecting your market like a pandemic. I travel a lot. Some markets have a reputational problem in terms of danger or various other things, scams not totally in your control. Now there's a third category that I wanna go over with for the sake of the STR community and the hosting community. And that is, there's a sentiment among guests, Airbnb is good, it's cheaper than hotels, it's better value than hotels. And if we as hosts work together to enable that sentiment, then it's gonna be good for everybody. That means different things for different hosts. And it depends on what kind of property you're providing. But for example here, I'm in an Airbnb, I stayed for a month, and I come and I check in, and there's no paper towels, there's no salt or pepper, pepper there's no uh, coffee, there's the kitchen amenities are very limited, but there is a tip jar. 
Now that's kind of doing the bare minimums. That's really not acceptable. You can see behind me, this is not the cheapest place. It's also not the most luxurious place, but as a guest living in Airbnbs over 2,500 nights, I know that these amenities are standard around the world. Why are you gonna have me buy salt for your future guests? It's very cheap, buy it for me, okay? Same thing with laundry detergent. I hate this, it has a, it has a washer and dryer, but no laundry detergent. All right, so you want me to buy a lifetime supply of laundry detergent, they only come in these big boxes boxes, for example, for your guests, buy me laundry detergent hosts. Now, in summary, what did we learn? Well, we learned about some millionaires in the Great Depression. We learned about my three-step troubleshooting process that resolves all Airbnb problems. And we also learned how we know if we made just simply a bad investment and it's time to dump it and buy a new one, or if we're looking for a new investment, how to make sure that investment is a good profitable investment from the get-go. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I just wanna make a plug real quick for a program that I introduced with my book. You can join for a very cheap monthly amount. We do meetings once or twice a month. Sometimes they are open question and answer sessions. Sometimes I talk about a topic. Sometimes I have a guest speaker come on. It's a great community environment. You get access to a forum when you join where you can interact with other hosts who, who, who are interacting with me. There's about a hundred of us, so it's a very small, tight-knit community. I hope to see you there. I'll add a link in the description. Until next time, happy hosting.